welcome back to CJ Falls. I'm Charlotte, behind the camera is Corey, and in this vlog, we're gonna take you around all of the best beaches in Newquay, my hometown. Kicking it off, we've come to Tawan Beach, and it's how we've been starting most of our mornings for a wee while now. We like to go for an early morning swim because in the very early morning, there is no one on the beach, only locals, and everyone loves to get in there for a nice early morning dip. Today we have a high tide, so it's gonna be right up. There's not gonna be much sand, but still the water's beautiful. We have the islands there with the bridge, and it's very close to us, so we love to hang out at this beach. Well, the tide is so far in today. It is like the peak of the high tide right now. Um, but as you can see, this beach is quite well serviced. There's a lot of amenities here. We're right next to the aquarium. You've got food, surf school, surf hire. There's a little pasty shop here. You've got a fish and chip shop here, and we're right in town. So basically anything you want, you can get when you're at Tower and Beach. That's why the families love to come here. Yeah, usually this is our favorite beach because it is quite protected. If it's too wavy here though, we do go to the Harbour Beach, which we are going to show you later today. So before we go for a swim, we like to prepare a nice hot drink. Uh, most mornings there's cacao and we have a little cacao after our swims. It's so nice to just warm back up from the inside as we sit in the sun. Okay, we are all done for our morning swim here at Tawan Beach. We're gonna go home and get changed and then we're off to adventure the rest of Newquay's beaches. So we have gone home freshen up and now we're back in town and as you can see the tide is really far out now we can't believe that where we were swimming earlier now there's just nothing there and we were at Tawan Beach but next to Tawan Beach on the left hand side to it is the harbour. The harbour is a great place it's very sheltered if you've got kids uh, it's a very busy little place because it is a working port and there's some nice places to eat down there so come along and we'll show you. This is the boathouse. Here you can come and you can scan your QR code and you can order from any of the pop-up food stalls. So they have like Mexican, Indian pizza places, waffles. Um, it's a really great place to come. They open in the daytime and then into the evening. So it's very popular and nice sort of spot for dinner. I just want to boogie with you, with you. So as you can see, this is a great place to come if you wanted to spend the day with some family. And as the tide comes in, you can actually swim down here. We've got lots of people on this side of the beach. This is where the slipway is. And everyone sort of like chooses that little beach to park up with their families. There is a car park down here as well. Um, and there's many activities to do here. You can go on fishing boat tours. You can hire jet skis, paddle boards, kind of all that stuff is available here for you to rent. Uh, and this place here kind of goes off in the evenings now, in summertime. Very popular with the tourists and the locals as well. Um, and the harbour wall, when the tide's in, is one of the best spots to jump in. Even though, technically, you're not allowed. <laughs> so usually if you come here when the tide is a bit higher, the fishing boats will come in and usually following the fishing boats is Sammy the Seal. He's very famous in Newquay. Um, there's actually been quite a few Sammy the Seals, I think, because he was around when I was a kid. So I think this is probably like the third generation. And there's actually a few the other day we saw two in here. So sometimes when we've been snorkeling, we have seen Sammy, one of the Sammy Seals. So that's quite exciting, especially for the kids to see here. But as the tide is so low right now, we're probably not going to, but sometimes on the other side of the harbour wall, uh, the seals can be down there too. Usually when the tide is high, it's, yeah, it's up to here because we have come swimming down here sometimes. And yeah, you can go plop, right in here and wave to Sammy. So that's where we were this morning. And if you remember, the waves were super hectic. It has changed completely now. It's very flat out there. We can see some paddle borders and the beach is full of people, lifeguards, everyone just enjoying this British beach summertime weather. And we are gonna go up onto the harbour wall now and see what we can see from up there. Oh my gosh, 
house is perfect out there. I think we're going to go and we're going to go for a swim later. Right now we're just walking Eddie. However, recently we went snorkeling and we saw all of these crabs on the ocean floor. We'd never seen so many before. And I can see them all now. The water's really shallow and they're still here. I think the spider crab somebody told us. What a perfect day for paddle boarding too. It does smell a bit because it's fishy. <laughs> yeah, well it is a working harbour, isn't it? Is it is a working harbour, a little bit fishy. But we are now going to head to um, the little smaller sister beach of the big famous Fistral Beach. Uh, I really like this beach, it was one of my favourite ones as a kid. It's called Little Fistral and you can actually walk to it from the harbour. We'll go there. It is such a glorious day today. I don't think we could have picked a better day to show you all of Newquay's beaches. I guess the main draw card here is the surf culture that is around Fistral Beach and Watergate Bay and Great Western even. But on days like this, when it's flat, it's like, I don't know, it's just like a beautiful lake. It feels like the Mediterranean Sea. It's just so calm, so inviting, it's so turquoise. It's just, it's just beautiful. So this point here is called Tower and Headland and it is the most extreme point in Newquay Town and it actually separates two beaches. You've got Little Fistral, which is Charlotte's favourite. Uh, on the other side of that you've got the lifeboat ramp. Some people call it the gazelle. Charlotte knows it as the lifeboat ramp. But anyway, it is super calm down there. Usually you have a big uh, swell on the Fistral side. That's probably why it's one of the most popular surfing beaches here in Newquay. But when it's big on that side, you can come onto this side and have some little swims. We've done some early morning swims here and it is just so beautiful and so serene. Um, and I think that I am gonna pop in there today. Take Eddie, because he is getting a bit hot. It's very hot in the UK right now. All the weather channels are issuing heat wave warnings. <laughs> because it is above 25 degrees. It's a bit, a little bit ridiculous, but it is hot today, it is hot, so we are gonna get in the water. I'm taking the dog, let's do it. Before we go and see the official, we're at the lifeboat ramp. This is the old lifeboat ramp that is no longer in use, but now it is a great place to go and get into the water. A little bit more difficult when it's low tide, but it's so flat, it looks amazing, and Corey's gonna go jump in. Oh my gosh, there's the two seals that we were talking about earlier. Sammy, we've just taken Eddie out because we don't want him to think he is another seal. But Corey is very excited. <laughs> okay, so that was probably one of the most awesome experiences I've had here in the New Key Bay. I was just swimming out there and uh, one of the people who was snorkeling gave me their snorkel because there were two seals just hanging out, they're still there. Uh, and that was so cool, and I had the GoPro, so I dove under and uh, was swimming around with the seals and they were doing backflips and stuff, and it was just so special. And this is what we mean about, like, when it's like this, it's just, it's amazing. You just go in there and snorkel, you feel so safe. The seals are so playful, they're wild animals, but... Wow, wee, that was so awesome. I'm so jealous, and I can't wait to see your GoPro footage. I need to go buy a snorkel kit now, don't we? Yeah. I hope we can have the experience again. How special. They're just, I think they're loving having the snorkelers there. They're just following them. Yeah, they're so inquisitive, aren't they? Ooh, so fast. That is a big bucket list tick off for me. That was so, so cool. Um, I don't think we're going to fit in all the beaches today at this stretch because we've only done three. It's going to take all weekend, I think. Uh, yeah, but we, um, we will show you all the beaches. Don't worry about that. Next location is Great Western Beach. Now this is a bit further up from the main town strip, but really easy to access. This is called The Slope and actually leads to The Slope um, restaurant at the bottom. So you get some nice drinks there, some food. Uh, very family friendly beach as well. And they do a lot of surf lessons here. But right now the tide is completely out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk down here onto Great Western and we're gonna take a right and we're gonna go across to all of the major beaches that you can access when the tide is low. So if you think, I'm not sure what beach to go to, you can go to all of them, this is the way. If you really like this spot, you can also stay here. This is a steam restaurant and there's accommodation. So a lot of people really like this spot and it has a great view. Also, if you remember, we started our day off at Tower Beach. That is over there. 
Yeah, this beach gets super busy in the summertime. It is always jam-packed. And one thing that we notice when we come down here sometimes is a lot of rubbish. So if you do come down here, if you do bring food and drinks and stuff, um, make sure you take it back. There's bins located right here at the surf cafe. So it's not very much effort to take it from the beach, <laughs> just up to the rubbish bin. And the rubbish truck will come and collect it for you. But yeah, take home your rubbish because uh, it makes it much more enjoyable for everyone. So from Taiwan to Great Western to Tolkan. Now, the main difference out of the three is that Tolkan is not dog friendly. So you won't get people walking their dogs there, at least in summertime. And there is accommodation situated at the bottom, right on the beach. So there's some holiday homes, holiday lets. You can stay there and there's also a restaurant called Colonial. Uh, we've never been, but it looks really nice. So it is more of like a destination beach of the three. Again, very family friendly. There's little cafes over there, there's little changing huts, and I'm pretty sure there's a surf school there as well. Surf schools everywhere. Also, you can probably notice that the beach is absolutely huge. Uh, that is because the tide is out, and it means that we can walk all the way along them, like we said earlier. You can probably see as well where the high tide mark is. It's like wet right up into Tolkan. Something that blew my mind when I first came to the UK was how much the tide moves in and out. It's like six to seven meters. And that's in vertical distance. So six to seven meters along a flat beach like this translates to hundreds of meters all along the beach. And uh, it's something that just, I couldn't get my head around for ages when I first moved here. But that is the case. And uh, I think it makes, makes for a really, really interesting beach scene. Another thing to be mindful of when you're here is the further you get away from Taiwan Beach, the more wavy it is going to be. That's generally the rule. And that's because we have Taiwan Headland right over there where we were before at Little Festival. And that kind of protects the harbour and Taiwan Beach. And then as you get further and further away from that barrier, uh, the wave action becomes a little bit bigger. And um, then you get some of the best surfing over at Watergate Bay and the likes. The next main beach is Lusty, but before you get there, you go past this kind of dramatic rocky landscape. Um, it actually gets a little bit more, I'm going to say quiet, but actually a few people here. But it does start to get a little bit more sparse because we are going further away. Lusty Glades is the next main beach, and that is accessible still from Newquay, but you have to go out of town a little bit. Still walking distance though. Uh, you can walk there from the town, you don't have to go on the beaches. Um, it's a very nice spot and they actually do a lot of weddings down there. So it's very popular with brides. It's a lovely little rock pool, but I'm not sure we could get through there. We've got a clamber over, we could just walk around this. It's a beautiful little rock pool there. Look at that. So I couldn't help it, I had to go into this rock pool. It's really nice. I can't believe I've never found this one before. Um, but it's lovely, the temperature in here. A little bit fresh, but honestly, it is really not that bad at all. Such a nice spot. I kind of just want to float, but I'm just washing my hair. <laughs> I think it's going to get wet soon anyway. But it's so lovely. So many rock pools here, aren't there? I love rock pools. So this stretch between Tolkan and Lusty is um, quite big, the walk. I mean, not overly big, but a few, you know, five minutes or so, ten minutes. And you can kind of just explore the area at low tide. It's really nice. It's really quiet. You've just kind of got these little places to yourself. Such a nice place to come down, have a little picnic, bring the dog, it's a bit quieter. The kids, some kids over there just loving it in the rock pools. Yeah, really lovely spot here, isn't it? So we're just looking over at the, um, the cliff that separates Lusty Glaze and Porth Beach, which is the next one along. And I think we will not be able to make it just because we've left it a little bit too late. The water is already surrounding the rocks. Maybe we could climb over them, but um, we probably shouldn't risk it. We are just going to go to Lusty Glaze. Check out what they have on offer because we have heard they have a new acai bowl place. So we're going to check that out and show you a little bit of what Lusty Glaze has to offer. Right, we're risking it for a biscuit. The acai place is located at the top of the stairs and we don't know if it's open. It's about quarter to four. A lot of that kind of cafe style places close about three, but then they're located near the beach, maybe they'll open later. I don't know, we kind of want to walk back by the beach, but it'd be nice to have another, like, a cool acai bowl. Um, so I guess we'll risk it and you can see some nice steep stairs. <laughs> I 
Okay, I think that's worth it. They look open. It's called Blend. Well, it looks delicious. I think this was 100% worth it. Oh my God. That was really delicious. If you watch our Australia vlogs, you know that I absolutely love smoothie bars and side bars. This one's actually not on site. It's chocolate peanut butter. Absolutely delicious. So it's like naughty, but not naughty because it's all healthy. That was so worth it. I'm so happy I walked up the stairs for that. Um, really lovely people too. It's opened only last month. First time trying it. New Kid needs something like that so badly. Mm -hmm. Like it's so ideal. Absolutely love that type of food. We had it so much when we lived in Oz. Yeah, smashed it. So go check it out. The Hero Summer. So we were going to walk back home by the beaches, but the tide is coming. I think we're enjoying our smoothie bowl a bit too much, and we ate it all up here. So we'll have to go through via town. We have decided to come back down to Tawan Headland for your viewing pleasure um, because it is such a nice afternoon and we really, really wanted to make the most of it and show you guys the best that this place can look. The tide is in now, so it's kind of changed completely. There's cliff jumping spots here. There are people enjoying the sunset, having a little beer on the headland. We're probably going to take a little walk up to the top of the headland. You'll be able to look back down at uh, the Gazelle and also to the Little Fistral, which we're going to show you very shortly. So this place has a great atmosphere, especially now it's Friday afternoon. So we've got all the kids coming down after school. Everyone's jumping in the ocean. We've got the scuba divers out. Those are snorkelers, cliff divers. Uh, a lot of things happening here. There's some people on the beach and there's a definite van life community vibe here. A lot of people park up here in their vans. It's a great space just to sit and watch from your car. Because the way the car park is, like you can choose from either side. You can have a view of Fistral, Little Fistral, or you can have a view looking back at Newquay. And that over there is Talcan. Yes. And there's Talcan Beach right over in the distance. So either way, you've got a beautiful view. A very, very nice little car park if you park your van up for the day. And a little tip, if you want to come down here, especially for an afternoon barbecue or sunset, parking is free after 4 p.m. So between 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. you have to pay, but outside those hours, you get to stay for free. Mm -hmm. Hence the van lifers. <laughs> oh, this was my favorite beach as a kid. I really like this one. It was more of like the little locals, little fistule. Um, I still like it, but honestly, I don't spend much time here anymore. No, we need I think to. it's because we swim closer to where we live, which is nearest town. I also really love the Quen Top, which is further around the headland, like Polly Jokes, gorgeous beach. Technically not in Newquay, but it's so beautiful. I think we have to add this into the vlog. We're gonna go there. I think we're gonna go there tomorrow and squeeze it in, so I have to show you. It's such a beautiful spot. So the reason we are taking you around this headland is because actually there is a massive surf break here and it only occurs um, very rarely actually. I think it's only when there's like a big storm surge. This is the point where Cribber breaks off. If you go on Google Maps actually, you can see there is a pinned location just here and it's just out here. You've got up here on top of the headland, this is like a little uh, white hut and it is pretty much from the white hut to the furthest point out here, you can see that's where all the waves are going to break and that is the direction where it sends massive waves over to. Fistral Beach is behind us, that is like the main surfing hub of Newquay. It's the famous Fistral Beach where they hold the surfing competitions like the original Ball Masters competition which is now turned into this massive event and they have the festival over at Watergate Bay. We're going to head over there next and you can actually walk from here to the beach, you walk around the headland and you pass the famous Headland Hotel. Right, so we've made it to the top of Tower and Headland now and from here you can see this dramatic perspective. The drone definitely does prove how dramatic this place can be. Can you just imagine what it would be like when a, there's a storm surge going on and the waves are crashing all over this headland on all, all sides. It is very, very dramatic here. But you've got a good view down to Little Fistral on the right hand side and you've got the Gazelle and the lifeboat house on the left hand side. And then further on you can see Headland Hotel and Fistral Beach where we're headed next. Not much beach left there, is there? It really goes. So the water comes right up, you access the beach via these steps here. But this little bit here never gets um, covered by the water. So there's always that little spot to go to. We can't even tell you how lucky we are to have days like this in Yuki. I bet there's thousands of people out there who are just looking back and reminiscing at this. These summer days that just seem to never end. 
Let's go on and on until finally at around 11 p.m. the sun finally dips over the horizon and you lose that last bit of light. And that's kind of uh, when the nightlife starts to pick up and everyone just celebrates having these beautiful, beautiful summer days here in Newquay. There's a little group of people down here. That is a lovely little spot in between Little Fistral and Big Fistral. Um, you can access down here via path and it's a sheltered area. It doesn't get all the way covered by the waves. So you can just go down there. People are chilling down there with their dogs, just having some after work drinks. It looks so nice. Honestly, this afternoon is like the perfect um, Friday afternoon feels. <laughs> you couldn't get better than this. So if you saw the original Witches movie, this is where it was set in the Heaven Hotel. Very iconic. You can stay there, it's quite fancy. Uh, we had a spa day there recently for my birthday. It was really lovely, it was an indoor spa. However, they spent millions of pounds on this outside spa and it looks amazing. We know people that have been, they said it is absolutely incredible. You've got the views of the ocean when you're in the, like when you're in this outside warm heated pool. So we really want to go there, we just haven't got around to it yet. But it's been there for a very long time. In the war, it was used as a hospital. And then one of the hotels further up the road was where the nurses stay. So there's a lot of history there and people say it's haunted. And we're here, this is the iconic Fistral Beach. Probably the most famous beach in Newquay. It's one people think of a lot because it's the home of UK surfing. There's not much to surf right now, but there's some people out there, probably some beginners. I really should surf because I'm from Newquay, but I don't, it's very embarrassing. But Corey has been learning to surf over the past few months since he's been here, so good job. They have the big lifeguard hut there and they have some restaurants. They've actually got a Rick Stein there. They have a stable, it's got some yummy pizzas and they have the beach bar. So it is a fun place to be in the evening, on the weekends. Sometimes they have a silent discos and sometimes there's like beach yoga. So it's definitely a place with a great vibe and one of those must visits if you're in the area. There's a big golf course behind it and it doesn't have these dramatic, you know, Postman. typical North Cornwall cliffside that you get at some of the other beaches. However, it is great for surfing. People probably have amazing memories here catching some dream waves. I haven't had those yet, but <laughs> I will soon. The other thing is, this is a place to be for sunset. Like, when there's an epic sunset, there is only one place to be. It's right here. It's just one of those like iconic sunset locations. And uh, I think that's why people have such great fond memories of this place. Yeah, I've seen some really nice ones. Last time we were here, actually, we ate at Stable. It was an amazing sunset. Those restaurants up there for sunset, um, you can just sit on the balcony and just watch the sunset, have some drinks, have some pizza or fish and chips, whatever you like. Um, and it's one of the best places to just sit and watch the sunset. There is one gripe though. Recently they have changed the car park times. And well, now, it's a big drama for the locals. <laughs> yeah, it's a big deal because now you have to pay for parking right up until 10 o'clock, I think it is. Um, and if you're going out for dinner, it's just another added cost to your dinner experience, which it used to be from 6.30, it was free. So you could go out for dinner, have a late dinner and still have free parking. But now that's all changed and people are not happy about it. So just beware when you come into that car park, if you're gonna park there for the evening, pay for your parking because it will read your number plate on entry and if you don't pay you'll get a nice or little park over. at little fistral and have a nice little walk around or you can do what we did and just park at little fistral for free after four o'clock take a little walk around the headland hotel and have dinner here watch a beautiful sunset and then leave when you're done okay guys so that is it for all of the nuki beaches however for some bonus content for you guys we're going to show you some of our favorite beaches located a very short drive out of nuki Right, the first bonus beach we're going to take you to is Polly Joke Beach and it's one of our personal favourites. To reach this beach you have to go to Crantock Village, about a 10 minute drive out of Newquay and then you just walk along the coastal path, the southwest coastal path and you make it down onto the beach. Here is a great place to spend the day, you can take the kids down here, it's absolutely beautiful. There is no facilities though so make sure you bring everything you need. However, if you want to do a little bit more than just spend a day at the beach, take a walk along the coastal path and once you reach further up the hill, you actually come to a great lookout with a little signpost and it'll tell you about the local seal colony. So that's something that we like to do. We actually spot a lot of seals out here. They're always kind of very inquisitive, looking up to see if people can spot them and it's a great place to take the kids to. Okay, so next up is Porth Beach, and it's not very far out of Newquay. In fact, you can probably walk here from Newquay, but it's a massive beach. It's actually not dog friendly in the summertime, but right here you have 
a pub, you have a camping ground, you have food, cafes, and a huge beach to explore right next to Porth Island, which is an awesome little walk and it's a great place to watch the sunset from too. least is Watergate Bay. This beach is quite famous, it's very beautiful, it is wide and expanse. You can come here to stay at the hotel, you can come here to learn to surf, it is absolutely gorgeous. You can see right back onto Newquay Headlands. You can also come here and do some yoga. There is the yoga zen den and there's also a sauna up on the hill. Imagine that, you go for a swim, go eat, go to your hotel, go have a sauna and go have a yoga lesson all in the same space. on our Nuki Beaches vlog. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button and the subscribe button. It really helps to support our channel and we'll see you in the next one.